How you going? I'm Terence, and welcome back to Rusted Iron Ranch. Today, uh, I am going to attempt to make a grinder pedestal stand. Um, so I've got a couple of grinders um, that I want to mount to the same stand, um, and I've got an idea with using a truck brake drum um, that you can see there on the ground um, as the base, just so it's got enough mass that it kind of holds itself steady on the ground. Um, I'm going to use this 100 by 100 um, square hollow section as the um, like the riser, uh, and I'm going to use this was it probably five six mil plate, um, so a quarter inch plate um, as the like the base that goes across, and you can see there on the ground I've got four holes that I've decided I'm going to use, so I'm going to. Cut a bit of this plate to go across that and then um, I'll weld the riser on, work out how high I need to get it. Um, then I'll cut another plate that'll go on top. I won't use this one. Um, I'll just cut this off whatever height I need. Um, I'll cut another plate out of this um, to mount the two grinders to back to back. And the way you'll get it, um, the grinders, is you'll just kind of rock the, um, the whole assembly around, just turn it around. Um, which it should be pretty easy to do. You'll have a bit of leverage over it and hopefully it's pretty sturdy. Um, I've just had to salvage this piece of um, plate steel here. Um, it had this angle iron brace. I don't know what it was there for. I think this was a, um, a barbecue plate of some sort or something like that. So I just had to um, quickly go along, cut the welds and then just take them down. So that's all good to start marking up and cutting. Okay, so we've got our um, piece cut out here. Make sure I get it on the non-hot side. So the next thing we'll work on is um, trying to line it up on the base. Um, what are these holes? There. So that's roughly covering all four of those holes. Um, I might even try and uh, get it up on the bench, clamp it, I'll um, mark those holes from the underside, uh, then I will drill a couple of holes. Um, I'm going to go overkill, I'll put four bolts in it, I might as well. Um, and then once we've got this, we can uh, think about standing our square section up on it. Um, I'm actually going to weld it first before cutting, uh, because then I can really experiment with how high the grinders have to be um, kind of working from the base up um, and then I don't accidentally cut that too short so I'll um, get this clamp and lift it up onto the bench and I'll mark these holes now and get ready for drilling Okay, so we got our holes drilled in the bottom plate. Um, I'm just going to go ahead with the flapper disc and just clean this up a little bit uh, because once I bolt it down, I don't plan on unbolting it again. Um, if I do give this any paint, I'll just do it uh, in situ. 
Um, as you know, I like the rusted look, hence rusted iron ranch. Um, so I probably won't be doing a lot of paint. Um, if I do, I like to paint stuff um, red oxide. I actually really like that color. It's like the old undercoat that a lot of, um, well, pretty much everything, but a lot of agricultural equipment um, used to either come in that color or was definitely um, definitely undercoated in that color. So as the original paint wears off, you do see a lot of red oxide showing through. So I'll uh, get this cleaned up and bolted to the brake drum. <laughs> Okay, so we've got our bottom plate bolted on. I've just got the riser sitting on here for the minute. Um, I really want to have it centered, so I'm just going to take a little bit of time off camera to get this centered and get set up for welding. And I'll set you back up, we'll weld it on, and then we'll work out how high our uh, grinders have to sit. <music> Okay, so we have our riser, the 100 by 100 SHS, welded to our bottom plate. Uh, I took my time with the welding. I was just, um, I was working a few things out. I haven't done a lot of um, arc welding, so I was just um, experimenting with a couple of different size rods and different air amperages and also, um, yeah, just a couple of different patterns. So not the greatest welding, but um, it'll do. I'm sure it'll hold. Oh, 40, 50 kilos or whatever is going to be on the top of this. So I don't think there'll be any issues there. So I've just mocked up this grinder. So this is a Australian made GMF grinder um, that I got a couple of years ago for $40, I believe. A mate picked it up for me. Um, it's in really, really good nick. Um, I do have the little visors for it as well. I just took them off because I didn't want to break them. Um, I've, so I've just kind of uh, shimmed it up there with a couple of bits of wood. And where I think is a comfortable height is about 875-ish to the bottom. Uh, we'll go 870, I'd say. Uh, eight, yeah, 870 to the bottom of that um, bottom of the plate, minus whatever our um, plate um, thickness is as well. So that's the height we'll go to. Um, now I do need to go grab the other grinder that I'm going to be mounting um, just so I can uh, work out how big this other plate is. So I'll go grab the other grinder, I'll sit them both on the plate, I'll quickly mark it out, cut it, um, I'll cut the riser to the right length, um, and yeah, we'll go from there. I'll bring you back then. <laughs> Okay, so it's the next morning. Um, I've got the pedestal marked out with our 870. Um, like you saw last night, we got the top plate cut. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut the, um, the riser down to 870 and then we'll get set back up and we'll weld this on. I might drill the holes uh, after I've welded it on. Um, just I'll get this centered where I want it, um, weld it on, then I'll drill the holes, then it'll be nice and stable. Um, so yeah, we'll get set up now, and I'll cut this off. <laughs>
so our welds are done on the top. I'm pretty happy with them. Like I said, I haven't done much stick welding before, but I'm slowly getting uh, used to it and also uh, getting the setting dialed in for, I think these are three, three mil 6018, I think they are, uh, rods. Um, so I've found for this, for this plate, um, about 105 amps seems to, well one, start the arc pretty well, but um, also I can control it pretty well and it's not spitting everywhere and um, being real messy. So I'm pretty happy with those. All right, I'll stand it up, mark out the holes and uh, drill them. Okay, our holes are all drilled. This is the grinder side, this is the dental lathe side. A little bit smaller bolt pattern and a little bit smaller bolts. Um, I found some M10 um, bolts I just cut down to size. Got some flat washers and some springs for them. Um, I'll be fitting, like I did with the bottom, I'll be fitting the um, with the nut at the top. Um, they've got a spring washer underneath them, but obviously with a grinder, pedestal grinder stand, it is gonna be susceptible to some vibrations. So um, spring washers on there, but just for good measure, I'll point them up just so I can see if they are coming loose. Um, whereas if you put them down, the bolt, uh, sorry, the nut could uh, drop off underneath into the brake drum and I wouldn't even know. Um, same as on the top, so I'm gonna put these from the bottom up so then if um, my nuts comes loose I can see um, for the dental lathe I found these little uh, nice um, hex head bolts um, these ones I yeah I might have to cut down a little bit as well I just got a test fit and I'll cut them down but I'll set you up and we'll fit these uh, up and then we'll uh, give it a whirl in the shop it's a little ironic that I'm using the old uh, bench hand grinder here to uh, round off these bolts at the end to make a grinder stand. Okay, so we got them all bolted up. Um, I might just go ahead and give them a little clean, just to grease them off, just because they've been in storage for a little while. Um, I'll get it in the shed, plug it in, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, and there we have it, the grinder stand. Um, made from a scrap uh, truck brake drum, uh, just some scrap offcuts that I had, an old barbecue plate, and two vintage GMF made in Australia, uh, we'll cook. This one is a bench grinder, this one is a dental lathe, two speed um, with number two taper um, like attachments on it. Um, so yeah, here we go. Just power it up first time. Super solid. Um, I even found that when I was um, drilling the holes, I was putting my whole body weight um, or near about on these very corners um, and pushing right down and the brake drum didn't even look like it was gonna fall over. So really impressed with that. Now this grinder runs on for a long time. So um, if you like the video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you wanna see more, subscribe. Once again, I'm Terence, this is Rusted Iron Ranch, thanks for watching.